Hey, what's up guys? I have a great YouTube video here for you guys. Uh, today will be a little bit more of a show and tell. These are the five best books that you can read right now to help you get in the bright mind to get started into real estate. So the first book, um, the one that most real estate investors actually read is called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So basically, Rich Dad, Poor Dad goes over the definition of what an asset is versus a liability. So an asset is basically, as Rich, you know, Robert Kiyosaki says, is something that puts money in your pocket versus a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket, like a car loan or a mortgage payment for a house that you're living in, right? And he talks about basically how real estate is one of the best ways to build wealth because one you're saving a lot of money in taxes um, and you're able to write off a lot of your basically your expenses off of your real estate profit <clears throat> but also the fact that buying a rental property is a true asset um, in his definition of an asset uh, he also talks about the four quadrants so there's employee there's self-employed there's business and there's investor. So in a real estate kind of falls under the investor area. Um, but he said basically if you're employee or self-employed, it's very hard to become wealthy and you most likely will be working um, for a paycheck for, uh, you know, or working for yourself for a long time until, uh, you know, older age versus the business and investor side. If you go and fall into those quadrants, you build wealth a lot quicker you have more tax benefits and yeah that's basically rich dad poor dad um, the next book i want to mention is is similar to rich dad poor dad it works on the mindset as well but it's called the millionaire real estate investor by gary keller he's actually um the founder of keller williams realty if you guys ever heard of that uh, so yeah gary keller in his book goes over the importance of building a team and scaling your uh, rental portfolio so basically <clears throat> not just stopping at one but how can you leverage it and buy more properties and eventually you know really grow your wealth through real estate he also goes over uh, having a big vision for the future having a big why and then um, a little bit about money mindset so basically changing your belief system around money how you grew up around money and um, basically, you know, your positive or negative beliefs that surround that. Another great book, by the way, uh, for my money mindset is uh, T. Harv Ecker's book called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. That one also goes over, you know, how you think about money, uh, the positive, you know, if you have a positive association with money versus the negative associations that most of society kind of teaches us uh, surrounding money. Uh, and so those are great books to read. Uh, the next one I have is The Obstacle is the Way. It's called, yeah, it's The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. Um, so this one teaches you how to maneuver around obstacles and see obstacles as an opportunity. Um, so for example, in my case, uh, when I was buying my fourth house, I actually didn't have the capital to buy it. But Luckily, my first house actually appreciated quite a bit in price. It actually went up $60,000 after the renovations that I made on it. So I was able to use something called a HELOC, a home equity line of credit, to take out that equity and put a down payment on the fourth house. And, you know, normally um, if I weren't if I didn't read this book and I didn't have this type of mindset then I would be like oh shoot I just can't afford it and I would give up right there but instead of saying you know I can't afford it I said okay how can I afford this right is there another way around the obstacle that I have which is I don't have enough for a down payment and so part of that is asking the right questions um, I talked a lot to mortgage lenders mortgage brokers what can I do here to make this work out because this is a good deal and I wanted to go through right so I really pushed, I had to push for it to, to go through and I also had to be creative with how I um, financed the deal, right? So the last one um, I really enjoyed is called the uh, Miracle Morning. Um, this one is great because it teaches you how to set yourself up for success by being productive, more productive, um, by mastering your morning. So it goes over things to do in the morning like meditation um, physical exercise even just taking a shower to kind of clear your thoughts and have 
silence. Um, so you can basically set yourself up for success throughout the day. So yeah, those are my uh, five favorite books. Just to summarize, that was uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, The Millionaire, Real Estate Investor, uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, The Obstacle is the Way, and The Miracle Morning. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video and you know, please like and subscribe and let me know if you read any of these books or um, you know, you find them very useful if you do read them. Thank you.